And now it's time for me to visit a small country with a big history, Macau. Macau is situated on the southeast coast of China, just 40 miles from Hong Kong. A ferry from its better known neighbour takes just an hour, but despite the close proximity, the two destinations are worlds apart. Macau covers just 11 square miles, but with its wealth of history, culture and tradition, together with world-class shopping, luxury hotels and high-rise casinos, it's a great place to visit. This is Sonata Square on the exotic peninsula of Macau. It's the only place in the world where Chinese and Portuguese tradition and history go hand in hand. The Portuguese first established a settlement on the peninsula in 1557 and they retained sovereignty until the handover to the People's Republic of China in 1999. The historic centre has been the heart of Macau since the 16th century and it's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One thing this little peninsula is really big on is food and its rich cultural diversity is reflected in its cuisine. What's, what's this? A very good. A very good. Kind of tastes and looks a little bit like a nut, but it's not quite a nut. Nice. And I'm none the wiser, but that's part of the fun, sampling local food. I find this place quite fascinating. The sights, the sounds, the smells, everything about it. I could just spend hours wandering around here. Macau has gained a reputation as a food lover's paradise. The blend of influences from East and West have evolved over four centuries into Macanese cuisine, which has put Macau firmly on the global culinary map. Now, something you wouldn't expect to find on this island of exotic cuisine is egg tarts. But this small bakery in the heart of Macau has been making its mark on the Portuguese speciality for over 20 years, and they've become something of a sensation. Tell you what, this is big business. All these people have travelled from other parts of China to buy these cakes. He's gone off with several boxes. Lord Stowe's award-winning tarts have become a firm favourite with locals and tourists alike. But rather than being a homegrown speciality, they're the culinary creation of a Brit. Eileen Stowe is the sister of the now infamous Lord. Eileen, I have to say I'm slightly uh, bewildered as to how an Englishman in Macau is making Portuguese tarts <laughs> with an English slant. I know, it's a confusing thing. My brother came here as a pharmacist. The company moved away. He loved Macau so much. So with his like gift for experimentation, he thought, what can I do to stay in Macau? I'll open a bakery and created something that's become an icon of Macau. What is it about these tarts that they love? It's the fact that they've got a tradition of a custard tart within their dim sum. It's called a dan tart. And so they immediately interpreted it as a Portuguese version of their own famous egg tart. Right. And how many do you sell a day? Nowadays, we sell up to 10,000 a day. That is incredible. And so tell me this, um, Lord Stowe, I mean, obviously, Andrew, was he a lord? Absolutely not. We're from Essex. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, can I try one? Yes, come on, love. Right, here goes. Here you go, here. Mmm. Mmm. Quality control. Delicious. Now, when it comes to staying in Macau, you'll be spoilt for choice. Despite its size, Macau offers an impressive 20,000 hotel rooms with prices to suit every budget from traditional Portuguese posadas to the height of luxury. And one of the newest is the five-star Banyan Tree Hotel. Each of the suites comes complete with its own relaxation pool. So if you're after luxury accommodation in the heart of Macau, then this is really the place for you. From the vibrant centre, it's time to explore the interconnected island of Taipa. And Macau's colonial past is beautifully preserved at the Taipa House Museum. Shaded by the banyan tree, these houses were considered the perfect location for the rich Portuguese families in the early 20th century. They've recently been restored to their former elegance and give a flavour of that bygone era.
I've really found Macau to be a fascinating, exotic and inspiring place. The juxtaposition between centuries-old temples and modern-day skyscrapers is all part of this charm. You really get the feeling, though, that Macau will continue evolving and surprising the world, but always with its history close at hand. And if you would like to take a trip to Macau, return flights to Hong Kong can be found from £550. Return ferry trip from Hong Kong to Macau is from £25. A bed and breakfast in the centre costs from £50 upwards. Or you can push the boat out at the Banyan Tree Hotel. A five-night all-inclusive package is from £1,535 per person, including flights and transfers. And if you want any more information about the holidays seen in the programme, you can go to the Channel 5 website. Next time on Holiday Heaven on Earth, will it be plain sailing all the way in California? The responsibility. And I go overboard about marine life in Tenerife. That was incredible. Like, they just swam right over your head. They were like little flying saucers. Like, it was incredible. <laughs>